from the historic splendour of the Cathedral City of Norwich. Through an unspoilt rural landscape of the Broads National Park and the North Norfolk coast, the Bitten Line Railway unlocks a world of scenic beauty. Taking the train is the best way to experience the delights which lie between Norwich with its Norman Cathedral and the area of outstanding natural beauty which runs along the coast of North Norfolk. The 30-mile journey passes through the westernmost reaches of the Norfolk Broads, the navigable waterways noted for their wherry boats and windmills. In fact, the Bitten Line takes its name from the rare birds with its distinctive booming call which is found in the reedy wetlands. Passengers can enjoy the exhilarating views in extra comfort thanks to Greater Anglia's brand new fleet of trains. The first call on the route is Solhouse, from where a pleasant two mile walk leads to peaceful Solhouse Broad with its nature boardwalks and ancient waterways. Hoveton and Wroxham gives access to the two busiest villages in the Broads National Park. With boat trips, a host of family attractions and a unique riverside shopping experience within easy reach. At the station, you can take the popular narrow gauge Bure Valley Railway through traditional Norfolk countryside to Aylsham. At Worstead, a short walk from the station leads to a magnificent church and the lovely village square, bordered with Georgian and Jacobean buildings. The world-famous Worsted cloth was developed in the village and the ghostly White Lady reputedly haunts the local pub. The historic market town of North Walsham is well known as the place where Lord Nelson was educated, but it's also worth a visit for its shops, eateries, thriving traditional market and places to stay. As the line travels north, catch a glimpse of the North Sea before arriving in the traditional seaside resort of Cromer. A popular destination since Victorian times, the town has a wealth of history to explore, including its lifeboat station and traditional seaside pier, along with a range of events all year round, such as its hugely popular summer variety show, and of course, a chance to enjoy a traditional Cromer crab. At West Runton, a walk to the beach provides a chance to find fossils, enjoy a section of the long-distance Norfolk coast path, or climb Norfolk's highest hills for stunning views of this area of outstanding natural beauty. The Bitten Line ends at Sheringham, a delightful coastal town boasting a unique mix of shops and attractions, including the Little Theatre and the superbly restored North Norfolk Railway with its steam services to halt. At the end of the line, regular bus connections allow visitors to explore even more of North Norfolk's spectacular deep history coast. More than 700,000 passengers a year use the Bitten Line. They are attracted by the hourly service seven days a week and by its status as one of the most scenic in Britain. Supported by the dedicated volunteers of the Bitten Line Community Rail Partnership, its myriad attractions are set to grow ever stronger. <laughs>